clear prop. All right, we're going to try to take off right into the wind. And uh, I don't know, we don't have a whole lot of runway taking it right off. But we're going to take off and see if we can cut to the left. We'll see. We'll see what the wind gives us, and we'll go from there. All right, here we go. I'm expecting my uh, left side to come up first here. We got some lift, boy. I got up and got jumped up. Should have let the trims out just a little bit so I didn't have that much lift with that wind coming at us. But, uh, yeah, got bumped, got bumped up, bumped down. The wing came right up. Could have done a reverse launch. Okay, we'll just go cruising here. Wind's coming off from the right. So we're kind of uh, crabbing, kind of to the right. We'll head off over to the right, to the wind, and then we'll uh, ride the wind back. Wind gusts are supposed to be up to about 9, 10, and uh, it's going to kind of change. It depends on what uh, wind uh, indicator you uh, read, if you read windy or uh, UAV or dark sky. Uh, depending on who you're reading, uh, we got a little bit of mixed winds here, so everything looks uh, within uh, within margin. So uh, we'll go on up. David's not with me tonight. He uh, flew from up at his house. Uh, he uh, sent me a text and said that uh, he went up earlier, and pretty much it was kind of nasty up there, so he went ahead, packed it up, went home, and uh, I think I've found that it's a lot better to come out here around uh, 7. It's 6.45 right now, and it's uh, relatively smooth. It's pretty nice. And yes, thank you, my daughter, for my birthday Father's Day jacket. I've got a new jacket on now. It's a, uh, uh, we're going to call it a uh, Buckeyes color, scarlet gray, but it's a very nice jacket. Don't see any airplanes in the area. Nice to be able to let go of everything and just cruise on out here. Just nice and smooth.
part, Barry was talking about uh, uh, doing his throttle uh, and locking down the cruise control. So that's what he's talking about. I think you can see it probably on one of the cameras. Basically, lock it down. I mean, if you wanted to, you could take, you know, take it off your hand and set it over your cruise. But to me, that's not, uh, to me, that doesn't feel safe. I don't feel comfortable with like, going to throttle and then be, you know, going. But um, it's kind of like how many people feel when they let go of the brakes. Both of them, they don't feel comfortable. They like to be active piloting the whole time. And I understand that. Then when you when you take it off the of autopilot or your cruise control, what you want to do is make sure that you loosen it completely and not uh, just barely loosen it so it goes. Because when you get ready to let off the throttle, like maybe when you're going to land and you let go, that uh, it doesn't stick. So you want to make sure you take it off completely so it doesn't stick. And you're trying to slow down and get it still going. And, Just put on the uh, trim to pull a little bit to the left, compensate for torque. And the last time I flew, I said I was going to adjust that. And I did. I said I was going to adjust that, and I did. Standing. I hate it when you cough up a bunch of green slime and you really can't spit it anywhere. I'll have to give me a spit bottle now. Yeah. I know, this light's going to be one of those TMI flights. There's really too much information. Yeah, I let off of my trip control. And you can see that it kind of turned to the right a little bit. Yeah, we're out here in uh, Plainfield, Plainfield, Ohio, and uh, we haven't flown out in this area out towards this way. Normally we had uh, north, and this is kind of south. About 400 feet, doing about 20 miles an hour. I've seen a lot of deer lately. I haven't seen any racks yet, but uh, we see seeing that soon. I've seen a lot of squirrels and groundhogs out in my apple trees. I had to break old Betsy out. I'm going to have to go take care of some squirrels and groundhogs. Groundhogs are digging holes in my yard beside my house. Squirrels are out stealing all my apples. Every time I go down there, one of them's got a big apple and they're running down the, down the hill into the trees. 
do you think, you know, how much damage, how much damage can a squirrel make? Well, when they're out there stealing two or three apples a day, and every day it just kind of, a, it just kind of accumulates. And of course, they don't steal the bad or the worm holes in them. They seem to always get the nice apples. 36, 38, 38 miles an hour, 474 feet. Nice and smooth. Take a look at the whip sock and see where it's set. Looks like we have the same wind coming out of the south, southeast. Closer from the south. Of course, this runway runs east and west. We've always got crosswinds, and I've mentioned that. Uh, past. Today I decided to try to just take off a little bit different. Just for the fun. Make it a little different. Learn something. Test my skills or lack of skills. We'll see if we can land into the wind. I normally don't land this way because you got to come over these power lines and these green shrubs over here. There's a power line right over it. And, uh, by the time you get over everything, you're you're pretty far away from your truck and everything else. But uh, in this case, let's see if we kind of land into the wind. We'll. Cut it to the right here and come down it. Okay.